Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed a video in so long. I'm uh, sorry about that, but I'm back. And this video is about medical assisting school first semester and kind of like what I would have changed about my study habits, what I liked, what I didn't like, um, the books I used, basically just everything about first semester. I'm wearing this comfy sweater with my decorations and wet hair because I didn't want to blow dry it and style it for this video. Uh, just keeping it low key. So first I wanted to start with what did I want to start with? Well, first I'll just start by saying this is what worked for me at my school. Obviously, every college is going to be different. Like, I don't even know if the books are the same. Um, but this is, here, this is the workbook that um, all of my clinical class work and my administrative work, class work stuff was in. And so this is the Kins Medical Assistant... 60th edition um, these are really expensive books so if you can get one on Amazon or eBay or something I definitely would but make sure it's the right edition and then this is the textbook that goes along with it see I literally I tried to organize and like but I literally did that for one chapter and then I was like that that's stupid that's a waste of sticky notes so that's for um well, okay, let me just go by the classes. So first you have, or I had, I don't know if, I'm guessing they're all the same, but I don't know for sure. I'm sure they're all along the same lines. Um, but you have medical assisting, administrative procedures, and that was half a semester. So what, what was that, like eight weeks or something, nine weeks only? Um, and it was super easy. It was basically just like taking telephone calls, um, emails, basically all the behind the scenes medical assisting stuff. And it was really easy for me at least. Um, it's basically common sense. Just taking like orders for inventory. And it's really boring, honestly, because if you're going to be a medical assistant, you're mostly doing it for the patient contact and all of that, and you don't get any of that with that class. But it's part of the job, so you got to do it. And that all that stuff was in this book, and so was my clinical um, class, and that's where you have all the different units or chapters. So you have pediatrics, geriatrics, uh, cardiology, and then you have things like surgical instruments, so it's just like all these different things combined into this, these two books. So, yeah, that's, those are those classes. And then there was um, digital literacy, which <laughs> was a joke, <laughs> um, in my opinion. We did a lot of like Microsoft Word and Office and stuff. Um, there was like eight modules I think so this took me eight weeks I want to say and it was all online this was an all online class I don't have any tips for studying or anything for that because it's just all online it's at your own pace and you just do what you just do the modules and it's pretty self-explanatory honestly and then this you have medical terminology and this is my book it's all messed up um, and this I took in high school. If you are in high school right now, definitely check to see if your high school does medical terminology. If they do, most likely your high school pays for it or the college you're going to will pay for it. So definitely take advantage of that. That's what I did. And you just have to pass to get the credit and to get it paid for, which I did hardly. This class is really hard if you're not used to like, I don't know. It's it's just a hard class. I think everyone thinks it's pretty hard, but it's not impossible. I did it, and I'm not the smartest cookie, for sure. And then there is also Culture of Healthcare, which is another online class I took. I don't have a book for it because I sold it, actually. Or I got it for free, so I just had to, like, give it back. Whatever. 
um, that class was also online for me and I took it my senior year of high school, second semester, and it was also paid for through my high school, which saved me between med term and culture of healthcare, I probably saved like five, six hundred dollars, which is a lot if you think about it. Um, so like I said, definitely take advantage of your high school or if you are in high school, see if the technical college that you're going to um, offers like dual credit or anything like that or if you can take a class for uh, like before the semester starts in summer or in winter whenever you're starting your program because it's going to save you so much time once the actual semester starts and you have a full load of classes. Um, I'm so thankful I took my term in culture because I don't think I would have done very well in any of my classes if I had a full load which is 18 credits. Um, Midterm is three credits and culture was two, so that's five credits. Just out of, I didn't have to worry about. Um, so definitely, that was, that was awesome. And then another class I had all semester long was Human Body and Health and Disease. And this book I hardly used because we met once a week, and we did we went over the study guides, um, and then we did cahoots. I don't know if you guys. I'm sure everyone knows what a Kahoot is, but it's just like an online quiz thing that you like, I don't know, it's easy, or not easy, it's like self-explanatory if you know what it is, <laughs> but so I definitely went to class to get those Kahoot answers because they were answers from the test that my teacher put, it was like basically initiative, not initiative, it was like a way to get people to go to class. Um, and then towards the end of the semester, it wasn't even a mandatory class because she realized it was kind of pointless to have class for one hour a week. But whatever. So, human body, definitely my hardest class. I hardly passed. I passed uh, with less than a percent. But it's fine. We don't talk about it. A pass is a pass. Um, so... Yeah, this is a card class, but I liked it because it was interesting. Um, and then lastly, well, I don't even know if this is lastly. Yeah, lastly is uh, lab, so blood draws. Well, that's a lie because blood draws, blood draws are in second semester, but we did things like urine sample tests and um, sw um, strep throat swabs, and then it was a lot of just like book work so we had the textbook which like is super tiny and then the workbook which the study guides were in and I'm gonna be using this for second semester and I'm going to be using this big mambo jumbo set for second semester also um, and then these I'm going to probably keep until the semester's over, see if I need it for anything, and then sell them or give them to somebody. Um, so those are all the textbooks, and oh, that this video is going to be long, so I need to start talking faster or talking less, actually. So I don't know if I showed you guys ever in a video, but I did organize these by like saying human body health disease, clin clinical and I'm going to make a video on how I uh, organized for second semester because I don't like the way I was organized for first semester it was a hot mess um, basically nothing I didn't have a system didn't work for me and I think I could have done better in class if I was more organized but whatever it is what it is it's over um, and then I just really want to make sure I'm like organized so when it comes to finals time I like know where everything is because these are all my study guides for human body and like they were not in order or anything and it's stressful when you're not organized and you want to be so I highly recommend being organized and a way I did organize in my planner um, this thing I use every day every day I let me just give an example. So this is like the beginning of the school year. So every class I 
gave a color. So I would I would normally go with the color of the binder with the pen, but I wasn't thinking about that at the time because I'm dumb. But clinical was purple. So weekly blood pressure assignment number two. And I would know that that's for clinical. And then like human body was pink. So I just, and it's also like that in my calendar on my computer, um, which I can't even show you because I am not technically enrolled in any classes right now because first semester is done and I have not signed up for second semester classes yet and it starts like soon because <laughs> I have a winter room class, but whatever. This is about first semester. Um, so, yeah, like, you know, I had, like, a lot of stuff was due, like, all lab was due on Wednesdays, all clin was due on, this is backwards for you guys, but, oh, my nose is running, but whatever. Um, I think, like, workload-wise, um, it wasn't, like, unmanageable. I was in 13 credits, and I did, I worked two jobs, but only, like, eight hours a week one job and 16 hours a week at a different job um, so it's not nothing crazy it's not like I work 40 hours a week some people do in class I don't know how they did it or like some had kids um, but everyone has their own life and some people didn't work at all and class was still hard for them so it's really just time management um, I wasn't the best at it this semester but I like to say I was good enough at it. I mean, I did decent on everything. I passed everything. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I really enjoyed it. First semester was more book work and second semester is definitely going to be more hands-on. Starting April 15th, I think, I start my practicum which is like on-site training. Um, I hope this video gave you guys a better idea of what to expect for first semester, like what classes, and um, I guess I didn't really talk much about, I didn't go into depth on anything, so if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I reply to everybody, most as long as I see them. I don't always see them all, but, um, not that there's like a bunch, but sometimes I don't get the notification. I don't know why, but um, yeah, leave me a comment and I will definitely answer any questions. I will do the same type of video at the end of second semester and maybe like how I prepare for the final exam and things like that. Um, basically for studying this semester, I just did those cahoots, quizlets, look up medical assisting, uh, pediatrics test review and people have already made them and as long as it looks like you know that's kind of like what will be on the test then I'd go with it or make your own that's a lot more work <laughs> uh, but maybe you make one for a test and then your friend makes one and then you just kind of rotate also speaking of friends make friends in the class Get a study group. I did that. It was so nice. I don't think I would have been as successful without my friend's help because we just helped each other out. If you didn't know an answer to a question, you asked someone and they told you and vice versa. Like, you just helped each other out and it was great. I definitely recommend finding a group or getting close with your instructor and emailing her if you have a question because I did that also. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, at least where I go to school, my instructors are amazing. They are so awesome. Like, they're, like, the sweetest women. There's two of them. And I just love them. And I'm going to miss them next semester. Or, like, when I'm done. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't really know if it helped at all or if I just kind of talked to the camera for like 15 minutes straight but like I said just ask me questions or DM me on Instagram I always leave that in the description below I also reply to those 
So I hope you guys enjoyed. I already said that, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.